Now this Mr. Horn V83 with another Mr. Horn V83 topics video. Um, last time you see me was Monday, three days after my mom's passing. Um, at the end of this video, I will have a moment of a picture of me and my mom when she was still in good health. Um, and I leave that on there for about a moment, but. It is now time for countdown to E3, which I had a whole week or two plant around this, but due to the circumstances with my mom and that, I couldn't really, you know, I couldn't get through it all. And next week, no YouTube videos at all until next Saturday. So, so countdown to E3, I'm going to be talking about my hopes on news about rockstar's agent it's been years since this has been talked about uh due to the deal they made with uh with rockstar games to get you know the grand theft auto series not just exclusive to ps4 i also have hopes on possibly one day hearing about the um Hearing about a Manhunt 3 eventually, and a Bully 2. Even though I haven't played the first one, but I heard really good, and I'm eventually going to get it and play it. And what to expect from Sony, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. And what will all the big companies announce. So this might be kind of a long video. I'm going to try not to make it too long. But before I get into all the E3 stuff, I got to talk about the Big news has been going around all this week, not only with Comcast making a bid to buy Fox from out of Disney, from under Disney's feet. I'll talk about that in a totally separate video, but the fact that casting the announcement about Jamie Foxx playing Spawn. Now, in the new Spawn movie. Now, there's some pros and cons to this. One pro is Jamie Foxx is a big star, and if they want to get people to come see the new Spawn movie, they have to have a big star. I know they wanted. I know a lot of other people are talking about they wanted a up and comer to get that role, but if you're wanting eyes and mainstream audiences to chat, tune in. You gotta have someone like Jamie Foxx playing the lead character. Now this is. Supposed to be focused completely as a horror, but I don't know. With Jamie Foxx cast, which I'm gonna get my cons right now about it. Jamie Foxx as Spawn, can he keep himself from doing too much comedy in this movie? I hear he has a lot of respect for the character and that, and hopefully, he can keep himself from turning this into a big old comedy. That was the main problem with the '97 movie because of John Leguizamo, everything he was saying and doing in it. Um, and Michael Jai White was still a young up-and-comer, but a lot of people did not like that movie, and there's a lot of reasons why that movie was not received well, and I'm eventually going to be getting to my review of that movie down the road, but that's all I got to say about that. I just hope Jamie Foxx plays Spawn right, because if you've seen my top 10 African-American superhero list, you know how I feel about Spawn. But hopefully he does the character justice and plays him right. Because I love Spawn. Anyway, now that's enough about that. So, got that out of the way. Now I want to talk about E3. And something I'm hoping here, I know Take-Two or Rockstar or whatever does not always have a big, you know, showing at E3s. They do drop announcements, but they're never there. I'd like to see an announcement for A Manhunt 3. I also want to know what's going on with Agent. They've been telling, you know, Sony they're going to give that game to them exclusively for the PS4 since GTA is no longer exclusive to the PlayStation at all. So hopefully we get an announcement about that. I know right now they're focusing on Red Dead Redemption 2 and all that, which is coming out this fall. We'll probably get another trailer, probably a gameplay trailer of that down the line. Um... I want to, here's what I hope. I hope they announce a Manhunt 3. I love the first Manhunt. Manhunt 2 wasn't too bad. 
I just didn't like it. I want a Manhunt 3. And hopefully it's better than 2. And Bully. A lot of people have been asking for Bully 2 for quite a while. Way before we got Red Dead, when everybody loved Red Dead, we want a Bully 2. Um, well, everybody else does. I gotta play the first one before I decide on how my, how I feel about it. And I'd say next year we get an announcement for GTA 3, or, not GTA 3, GTA 6, so I got my mind stuck in the threes, <laughs> for GTA 6, uh, next year, but, you know, okay, what to expect from Sony, um, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo, well, Probably the same as they've been the past couple years. They're going to do a lot of game trailers. They're going to show a couple new games that no one knew about. They're going to advertise their 3D or their gimmick stuff. Like the Xbox One Slim. The, you know, free virtual reality thing for PlayStation. And I don't know what Nintendo's going to stick with saying, Oh, we got another Zelda or Mario or, you know, Metroid or something like that. You know, they need to start getting some big third parties in there for their uh, for their consoles. And hopefully they will be able to do that with this Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch console is not that bad of a console. Nintendo will probably also announce the uh, Nintendo 64 Classic. Which will be more than likely they'll announce all the games that's going to be in it. Announce a date and all that which will probably be close to Christmas time. I got the SNES Classic, I gotta find the NES Classic, and then I will more than likely probably buy the 64 Classic too. Especially if they have some good games, and hopefully they give us some games, all the good games, not just a few, which is what the NES and SNES Classic did. So let's hope we get more from Nintendo with the Classic system. Alright, what to expect from all the big companies like Ubisoft, uh, e EA, and you know, all them other big companies. Like Bethesda and all that. Well, um, what to expect from EA? It's gonna be more Madden, probably some other stupid gimmick, and uh, not working on fixing some of the major problems that have been had with the Madden games. Madden games a lot lately. It's probably gonna add something else that's gonna cause more problems with the game, and cause more people to hate the game even more. Like I said, you know, I did not like Madden 18. I know, I know a couple other people might have liked it, but I did not care for Madden 18. I liked 17. I liked 15. I liked 13. But I did not care for 18 this past year. And uh, I believe my last written review on Facebook, on my Facebook fan page, was of Madden 18. That's the last written review I ever did. I gave it a two, I think a two or a two and a half out of five. I just did not like Madden 18. It was very terrible. Um, probably get some news about their soccer game and, you know, probably, you know, focus on some of the other games they already got out. They might give us some news on some of their other games coming out. Don't know what to expect from them. Ubisoft, pretty much an Assassin's Creed game is going to be announced. And I really hate it when they said, oh, let's do Assassin's Creed every year like Call of Duty and that. See, the thing with games like Assassin's Creed and, you know, Bioshock and all the, and GTA and all those games that a lot of people like, because the Call of Duty series can get repetitive. It gives you time to fully develop and polish a good game. I hate the every year Assassin's Creed because once they start doing it every year, most of the games have sucked since they made that announcement. Most of the Assassin's Creed games after Brotherhood has sucked because of them doing one every single year. Go back to doing Assassin's Creed every one or two years. I mean, a lot of people I hear liked this last Assassin's Creed Origin. Guess what? They took two years to get this game, you know, worked on in that. Uh, we'll probably get another Rabbits game announced. Maybe Rabbits and Mario 2 will be announced because I think a lot of people like the uh, uh, the Mario Rabbit game that came out last year. Um, as far as the companies making Call of Duty, they're just going to focus on Call of Duty, Mo what is it? Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare 3. I don't know. I don't know what the frick these freaking Call of Duty games are. I don't really care because I don't like Call of Duty. 
Call of Duty World War II, that's what it was. You know, a lot of Call of Duty fans are probably going to hate what I just said about Call of Duty, but I feel how I feel about those games. Um, but, yeah. They're going to probably focus on Call of Duty. You know what else I'd like to hear about? Years ago, what was it, 2005 or 2006, we got X-Men Legends 2. It ended on a cliffhanger with Mr. Sinister betraying Apocalypse. No one knew he betrayed him. Only Sinister knew, and we never got a follow-up to that game. I want an X-Men Legends 3. It's been a long time since we've had an X-Men game, especially a good one. The last good X-Men game was X-Men Legends 2, and before that was X-Men Legends 1. Let's get a new X-Men game out. Um... I want a game where Mr. Sinister main villain because it looks like in the movies they're still not putting Sinister in it. And this is getting infuriating. Mr. Sinister is the greatest X-Men villain ever. And they still ain't freaking putting him in it. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it for all I got to say about E3. I hope it's good. I hope we get some good game announcements. I hope we get some good, you know, new stuff. Hopefully we get some news about Possibly the games I talked about at the beginning of this. And let me know what you guys think of Spawn being played by Jamie Foxx in the new movie. Now, in honor and tribute to my mom, I'm going to shut up. The camera's going to pan on a picture of me and my mom from several years ago when she was still in good health. So, peace out.